There's a lot of confusion out there about subclasses and superclasses, so today I'm going to show you a real example, a real college student assignment of subclasses and superclasses. We're going to go through a few of the questions and make sure you understand subclasses and superclasses. This is from my Java Students Unite Facebook group where people come and discuss how to understand Java better, how to get A's in classes, get help on assignments. And if that sounds like you might be interested in seeing that, then click a link in the description and you can go over and join Java Students Unite. If you're new here, before we get started, my name is Alex. I make a Java tutorial on this channel every single week for you to learn Java. So if you're new here, you might want to see that, then consider subscribing. So here, I'm in the Java Students Unite Facebook group. We've got Kingsley here asked me a question, and I answered it the best I could here with some comments. But I'm just going to walk through some of this for you so that you can see a real working example. We're just gonna focus on items one through three. The prompt saying that you're talking with your friends about exercising and you're talking about which shoes are best for exercising. Your friends know that you're a computer scientist, so they ask you to make a program on the best uh, shoes. Now here are the requirements. We're gonna create a base class called shoe. It's got the brand and the size. Create a constructor, make instance variables with different keywords. We're gonna make a subclass and then make another subclass. This is a pro tip. This is usually what I'll do. I'll just skim through the whole thing. In this case, just these few, just to get an idea of it. I don't need to know the details yet. We just want a high level, like what's this gonna do? We're making a shoe class, we're making a running subclass, we're making a walking subclass. And it's because our friend asked us to make a shoe program. Now that we've got the high level idea of what our assignment's gonna do, Let's start looking at the specifics. Step number one, create a base class called shoe that stores the brand of the shoe as a string and the size of the shoe as a double. Let's start with that one sentence. Create a base class called shoe. Okay, we'll make a new Java project to store everything. Call it sub and super. On source, we're going to make a new class, and this class is going to be called shoe because that's what it said. It said to make a base class called shoe, and base class just means a regular class that we're going to use later. We'll be using it later to extend things, maybe implement things, but for now it's just a base class. It's normal. So we made our class it's called shoe. Create a base class called shoe is done, stores the brand of the shoe as a string. So we'll make string brand and the size of the shoe as a double double size create a constructor that takes two parameters the brand and the size a constructor is just the name of the class and then treat it like a method so the name of the class is shoe shoe and then treat it like a method what does it do Create a constructor that takes two parameters, the brand and the size. To pass parameters into a method, you just put them in the parentheses, and it's the exact same thing for a constructor, since you treat it like a method. What was it again? It takes two parameters, brand and size. So we got brand in here. Brand is a string, so string brand. And the size, double size. Cool. And we're basically almost done with the very first one which is a third of the project. Make the instance variables public and final. Up here, these are called the instance variables because each time you make a shoe object, it uses the class, makes a new shoe object with these variables. When you make an object, it's called an instance. So like how you get in trouble. Say you're a kid, you get into the cookies, into the Oreos, and all the Oreos fall on top of you. Your mom comes, she's upset. And then later you're in the car, you're asking to get ice cream or something. And you say, mom, I've been good. Can we please get ice cream? And then your mom says, hmm, have you been good? Name one instance that you've been good. Then you realize you haven't been good. So an instance is just one time or one thing. And these are the variables specific to the instance of the object that you made from the class. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But it's saying that those variables are public and final public final 
public file. You can also use context clues here. So make the instance variables public and final. If you don't know what instance variables are, you can look back at the beginning, scan through and see what variables did I make? Well, I only made size and brand. Those are the only variables here. And it says make the instance variables. So you could assume that that's what they're talking about since those are the only variables. Just a little trick. So we did everything in step one, except a construct. It didn't say this uh, explicitly, but a constructor assumes that the parameters you pass in, you just set them equal to the variables above. So we would do brand equals brand and size equals size. Now it's confused on which brand you mean. So like there's a brand here and a brand here. You can't differentiate between the two. So I, I, we can just name this differently or we could type the this dot keyword in front. This dot just says it's these ones up here. And this is generally what people do. They do this dot brand, this dot size. So step one is done. Step two, create one subclass to shoe that is called walking. Okay, we'll make one new class in the same package, new class called walking, boom. That part of the sentence is complete, but we created one class. We want to create one subclass to shoe. So to do that, you type extends shoe. Now walking equals the subclass and shoe equals the superclass. We get some red underlines, but we're gonna read through the rest, see if that fixes them. This subclass shall have a Boolean instance called Gore-Tex, Boolean instance variable Gore-Tex. So we say Boolean, Gore-Tex. The constructor shall set Gore-Tex variable from a parameter value. So we'll make a walking constructor. The parameter value is going to be Boolean Gore-Tex. And the constructor sets variables. So we would say Gore-Tex equals Gore-Tex. But since the variable names are the same, we got to do this dot to make sure it knows it's this one. And I keep t typing Gore text. It should be text. The instance variable shall be declared public and final, just like before. The constructor shall also take the parameters necessary to call the constructor of the superclass. So the superclass is shoe, the subclass is walking. Shoe has brand and size in the constructor. So we have to put brand and size in this constructor. String brand, double size. It says necessary to call the constructor of the superclass. Now to use the brand and size, we call the upper constructor by doing super and pass in that brand size. You have to do this before the other one. So if this was after, it wouldn't work because you need to create a shoe object first and set walking because you need the shoe first to do walking. Step two is now done. So let's go into step three. Create a second subclass to shoe called running. Create another one. New class called running. It's a subclass of shoe, so we do extends shoe. Now running is the subclass and shoe is the superclass. This class shall work exactly like walking, but the instance variable is weight and it's a double. So it'll be exactly like walking over here, except this variable is now weight public final double weight. And then we create the running constructor. Treat it like a method. We're going to pass in the weight, the brand, 
and the size. The running constructor creates a running object, but a running object also needs a shoe object. So we create the shoe by doing super brand size. We can use this keyword because it's the super class. And then we do weight equals weight. The variables are weird, so we do this dot weight up here equals the parameter weight. Now we've set up the three classes from the assignment. We've got shoe with brand and size and a constructor that sets this brands to the parameter brand and this size to the parameter size. We created a walking class which extends shoe and has an extra variable Gore-Tex. So when we want to make a walking object, we pass in the Gore-Tex brand and size. We create the shoe with super and then set the Gore-Tex. And we do the same with running, but for weight. Now let's do an example of how you would use this. We'll just make a main class with a main method. And let's make a shoe. Shoe s equals new shoe. And the parameters for the constructor are brand and size. Brand, do Nike, size 10. Now if we did s dot brand and printed that out, then we'd have Nike. If we made a walking object, walking w equals new walking, we'd get red underlines because the walking constructor needs this Gore-Tex and it's a Boolean. So we'll just pass in like true. And we can do w dot brand, still be Nike. Or we could now do w dot Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex. Did I spell it wrong? Yeah, it needs E. Beautiful. Same thing with running running r equals new running, except this one has a weight, and it's a double. So we could say it's a weight of 4.5 r.weight, and beautiful. So what this is doing is you're creating a object called running that already has the elements of a shoe. But we don't need to explicitly say it in here, we could just call the shoe that it uses. If we go back to shoe, this knows the brand and size. If we go to walking, this extends shoe, so it knows the brand, size, and Gore-Tex now. Running extends shoe, so it knows the brand, size, and weight now. And these are just simple variations of the shoe. So it's like a walking shoe and a running shoe. They both still have a size. They both still have a brand. So that's an example of subclasses and superclasses with a real a real college example. And that should really be good practice for you. Let me know if this was helpful, if like, you like seeing and thinking like a programmer with the assignments like this. I hope you enjoyed this, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.